What's up, you guys? We're gonna do an update right now. This one's really gonna be short, maybe 10 minutes or less. Um, basically, you guys aren't gonna be thrilled. All my skiing and snowboarding friends, you're not gonna be too happy. But look at this. It is raining. It's been raining ever since I finished the last video, the last snow update, it's been raining. So we're gonna take Big Bear Boulevard just to do a quick village tour real quickly. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm super bummed out, man. The eight to 12 inches of snow tonight, which was supposed to be on top of the three to five inches earlier in the day, we're probably not even gonna have a whole inch of brand new resting snow. A lot of the snow you see, these piles in the street, that's from the snow plows. So, I mean, even my prediction was, was way off. The good thing is that the precipitation amounts are there. They're just not getting it right with snow and rain, or rain and snow. But it's raining pretty good right now. It just went down to 35 degrees from 36 degrees as we are speaking right here. So, it's just a bummer. Just a bummer. Wow, it just went down to 34. Maybe we'll catch some snow on this on this drive here. We shall see. I'm liking the, the, the puddles though. Now I'm back in the lane. Yeah, sadly, you guys, sadly, sadly, it's 11 p.m., 34 degrees, we're getting heavy rain, or moderate rain, a good steady moderate rainfall coming down right now, but it's important for me to keep you guys updated, because I know a lot of you are so excited about coming up tomorrow. Look, guys, we need you guys up here, we need you to come spend money, we need you to come enjoy yourself so you can keep on coming back, infusing our economy with funds up here. But if I didn't love you guys, I wouldn't be honest with you guys, you know? I'm, I'm hoping, see, we went back up to 35 now. But I'm just hoping that overnight it does change over, which it should, to a more permanent snow. But we'll probably only get about an inch by seven, eight, nine in the morning. And I just really don't want the conditions to be miserable for you guys, especially you first timers coming up here to go skiing and snowboarding. I want you guys to have fun. So, you know, I would postpone your trip. I know it's hard to do that last minute, but um, I want you guys to want to come back. I don't want you guys coming up here to be miserable and then never coming back. There is a very small return rate for guests up here, and it's very sad. I learned that because everyone thinks I'm full of it, but it's the truth. I learned that um, during our orientation when I worked at Bear Mountain. The numbers were 15% of people come back to Big Bear. That's it. One five. Because of so many different reasons. So many different reasons. You could just name anything. So, it's just, oh man. I don't want you guys to come up here and then be so upset and then never come back. We need you guys. But at the same time, just getting out of your daily grind and doing the Big Bear thing. You know what? It might be worth it anyway. Just to come up here and enjoy being away from everything and everybody. Even though everybody does come up here. I just want you guys to have fun. Not, not waste your money. Alright, so going to go too far down Big Bear Boulevard. We're going to go down by the, um, we're going to go down by like Lakeview Market and then turn around there and then come back and go through the whole village. Big puddle. Woo! But the positive side of things, guys, is this rain is very good for the lake, especially coming down at this rate. 
because the ground is so soaked and so drenched that the water isn't seeping into the ground much. It's, it's just going to hit the ground and start rolling down towards the darn lake. And that's what we need. I can't wait to see how the lake looks on Tuesday. I really don't think I'm going to be able to tell if there's been much of an impact, but I'm hoping there is. Because we're getting a lot of rain up here. Okay, so coming up here to the left is the sledding. A good place to pay to go sledding and ride the the mineshaft roller coaster here to the left. We'll roll down the window so you can try and see it, but I, they don't have the lights on. Yeah, there's obviously no one out there because it's 11 o'clock, but also because it's raining. And as I said, like right after I finished the last video at about 6.30 p.m., um, it started raining. It seems like that's been happening lately. When it's raining and then I see it change to snow, I go out and it snows the whole time. And then all of a sudden it turns back to rain as soon as I hit the stop button on the, on the camera. So this is Big Bear, or Highway 18. This is Highway 18, you guys. Big Bear Boulevard. And we're coming up to Lakeview Market right now. We're actually gonna turn on Edgemore and come back down the side streets and then turn up to go to the village. How about that? I think that's a good idea. We just passed Lakeview on the left-hand side. Look, temperature went up to 36. Oops, look, look at my brakes on these snow tires. I can stop on a dime. Oh yeah, so 36 degrees, 11 p.m. Raining like a champ. At least there's no traffic. That's one thing I'm grateful for. I'm telling you, this this car with these snow tires is so pimping out here. So anyway, you guys, as I said, the forecast has changed, um, as I knew it would. I didn't think it would be this bad in terms of lack of snow and melting snow, but it is. So it looks like, as I said, by the morning time, we could get one to three inches of more snow. And that's probably by mid morning. And then tomorrow during the day, it's gonna be somewhat light if we have any snow during the day, but in the evening time, we could get another five to eight inches. Hopefully we get a single five to eight inches. That would be good. That would still be our biggest snowfall of the year. And then Monday, probably throughout the day, three to five inches. So still total, if, if, if everything from this point works out, then we could, we could get, I don't know, I'm gonna say six to eight inches by Monday night. Monday overnight into Tuesday, that should be the total. And then Tuesday, I go do my news interview for Fox. I can't believe it. It's crazy. I'm not as nervous as I was because you guys have made me feel so comfortable and made me feel like I'm gonna do great. I'm just worried that they're gonna ask me questions that I should know. I told you guys during the phone interview with Fox's, with, with one of Fox's producers, um, one of the, um, we were talking about skiing, and one of the questions was, so when did Bear Mountain open? And I'm like, uh, duh, uh, <laughs> so I looked it up as we're talking and I'm like, oh, 1969. But I think that's when Bear came in. See, I have to to research some of this stuff, but at, at, at the same time, I don't want it to sound rehearsed or anything like that. I just want to off the hip this thing. Anyway, we're on Lakeview. These homes to the left are right on the lake. Oh wait, no, not these ones, but when we turn right on Lakeview right here, this part of Lakeview. Is this Lakeview? Yeah, I think so. We'll take it anyway. These homes to the left are right on the lake. 
at least when the lake's full, they're right on the lake. Right now, it's about a five mile walk to the water, to the puddle, Big Bear Puddle. But this, this is definitely gonna help guys, but why I'm, I'm skeptical of that is if you guys remember when I was recording our monsoonal thunderstorms this last summer and fall, there were a couple storms that just left massive amounts of water here. And then I did some research and it showed that not only did the lake not gain any water, but it was still losing water at the same rate that it does every day. So it's quite a bummer. I'm telling you what guys, my car is such a champ. What's up champ? This is just a short update guys, at least short for what I do. It's a short update for uh, a little update. <laughs> it's a short update for a little update. We're gonna turn left here on Big Bear Boulevard and then head through the village to go back. And I'm gonna shut this off right around Taco Bell area, or I'm sorry, 7 Eleven, because I can get a pull into 7 Eleven. Whoa, huge puddle! Huge puddle. And that was a CHP officer that I just nailed with water. I feel bad. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to do that. I'm just driving my car, trying just to be me. I'm just doing me, yo. But yeah, this is so disappointing. And my whole driveway, you guys, it's it's like inches of water deep. It's miserable. Thank goodness for these snow boots because they, they have been so good at keeping my feet dry from all this rain. Temperature has still stayed the same. 36 degrees, 11, 10 p.m. We are in the village now, folks. So, get a glimpse of this beautiful place, huh? It really is pretty, especially when there's less and less cars here. It's really, really nice. When I come in here, two, three, four in the morning, oh man, it is great. I said you guys are probably looking at the sides of the roads and seeing those piles of snow and saying there's a few inches of snow it's really not it's really not I would say total snowfall that we've had from this is maybe an inch total rainfall a few inches at least a few inches at least turn and try and get a little loose but it's not going to happen too much or not at all whoa look at all this water yeah <laughs> that is awesome sauce everybody's got to try to avoid these potholes because they are everywhere not bueno for the cars at all you guys I know I keep complaining about that, but I don't want you guys to nail these potholes and mess up your cars. Captain's Anchorage was phenomenal, by the way. I just thought I would share that with you guys. I got a one pound prime rib. She got a 12 ounce prime rib. We both had baked potato and salad and their bread's really good too and then we got a dessert called um what was it called oh my gosh what was it called the shipwreck it was basically ice cream with caramel and uh 
chunks of brownie with whipped cream and a cherry on top. It was good. Real good. It's good. Oh, look at that, guys. Back down to 35 degrees. You're teasing us, Mother Nature. You're teasing us here. Just bring the snow. Please bring the snow. That's all I want to know is snow, yo. And I'm a poet and didn't know it. See, this poor guy is taking big steps here, big steps there, trying to avoid the huge puddles. Anyway, we're gonna pull into this Siete Once. Because my wife just loves her sweets. <laughs> so I'm gonna get her some sweets and get my Zins. I chew on those Zin nicotine pouches. I don't chew on them, they just sit in between my gum and my teeth, but look at this parking lot. It's wow, full of snow. As I said, it looks like a lot of snow. Maybe we maybe we got a couple inches at the very most, but it's basically melted away. Anyway, cheers you guys. Um, if it starts snowing heavy, doesn't matter what time it is, if it's three in the morning, you know I'll be out recording for you guys. So take care and uh if you're coming up here just be safe just be safe and enjoy yourselves peace out bye guys january 14th still 2023